Welcome to our presentation on the country of Bermuda, created by Kelly, Derek, Kevin, and Princeton. Flag of Bermuda. The flag of Bermuda was adopted on October 4th, 1910, and features the British Union flag located on the top left corner. The Bermuda coat of arms, which is centered and consists of a red lion holding a shield. The red lion is a symbol of Bermuda's relationship with Great Britain. The shipwreck that is inside of the shield is a representation of the ship Edward Bonaventure that departed from Plymouth in 1591 and struck the coast of Bermuda. Underneath the shield, the Latin text, quo fata fer ant, which is in really small letters, means whither the fates carry us. The flag is a red ensign due to Bermuda being a British territory. So ethnicity and demographics. According to the 2016 population and housing census of Bermuda, it was recorded that 52% of the population is black, 31% is white, 9% being mixed, 4% Asian, and other 4% which can vary from being Hispanic to another Pacific Islander. Bermuda actually had no indigenous population at the time of its discovery, nor at the time of the British settlements, which is why it isn't included in the census. The population consists of 63,779 residents, with St. George being one of the most populated cities in Bermuda. And Bermuda is one of the most populated countries of the British Overseas Territories. However, they are ranked in the top 50 countries that have the smallest population worldwide. Um, majority have an affiliation with Church of England, followed by Roman Catholicism and African Methodist Episcopal. Language is spoken. The dominant language, Bermudian English, portrays traits of American, West Indian, and British English. While standard English is used in professional settings, Bermudian English is spoken by the majority on more casual occasions. The accent also varies between people. Portuguese language is considered the second language of Bermuda because of the Portuguese making up one quarter of the population. In recent years, businesses, banks, governments, and government departments have accommodated to the Portuguese by providing translated information, websites, and application forms. A very small population in Bermuda speak Spanish and French, but Bermuda has not been accommodating to them due to their small size, and also because most of them do speak other lang another language, such as English or Portuguese. Bermuda's national dish. So Bermuda's national dish is considered to be fish chowder. So fish chowder is like the staple diet of this of the place. And it basically consists of fish, fish stock, and um, bacon fat. And you can mix it with and when we mix it with vegetables and spices, it's a pretty tasty dish and its traditional way to be served is with sherry peppers and black rum. Two main tourist attractions. There are many tourist attractions in Bermuda but two of the main ones that stand out will be the Crystal Cave. The Crystal Cave was originally found 30 million years ago and one interesting story of the Crystal, of the Crystal Cave was that it got found by two boys who was playing baseball. One of the boys hit the baseball and the baseball went into a hole. And as they try to get the ball, they discovered the crystal cave. So at that time they contacted the property owner and the property owner came with, with his son and they discovered the crystal cave. Um, an interesting char characteristic of the crystal, the crystal cage is that the crystals can weigh up to 50 tons. They're very, very big, as you can see in the picture. Um, and there's a lot of them. And inside the crystal cave, there's water. And the water is being drawn by like the sea. So it's actually seawater. Um, another main tourist attraction would be the unfinished church. So the unfinished church was constructed in 1846. Um, one interesting feature about this church is that it was made out of greenstone. And most, most buildings nowadays are not really made out of greenstone, they're made out of wood. 
but for a building to be made out of greenstone is actually a unique feature. And the reason why the church is unfinished is because back then they didn't have enough funds for it. So they couldn't really finish the project. A point leader who influenced Bermuda. So Edward Richards, he was raised with his father and his grandmother. His mother died when he was young. Um, when he was 21, he moved to London to study law. And he came back to uh, Bermuda in 1973. When he came back, he, he was appointed into office. Some of the things that he did for, for Bermuda was that he fought against segregation. He wanted everybody to become one. Um, and through that, he gained respect. And that's why he's one of the influential leaders. Economical and political status of Bermuda. So Bermuda is a nation that has a really low population and its population consists of about like around 70,000 people. So basically like their majority uh, source of income is through tourism. And like, that's the thing that gives them a lot of opportunities and increases employment rate. And as far as it's the political status, um, Bermuda has a parliamentary type of government, which is depended upon by a constitutional monarchy. So it basically means that it is a parliament type government, but then the face of the government is a constitutional monarchy. So like the premier is the head of the government, and it is a multi-party system. So Bermuda is actually one of the oldest self-governing British overseas overseas territories as once they were left by the Britishers, they just kind of ran their government on their own without foreign help. Healthcare crisis in Bermuda. Approximately 30% of the population suffers from chronic conditions, which leaves a major strain of disease in Bermuda because chronic illnesses are long-term, meaning long-term health care. And only one in 10 Bermudians have health care coverage. You may be asking why health care they don't have health care coverage. Well, health care coverage in Bermuda is the world's most expensive coverage, more than the United States. Despite Bermuda being more exposed to natural disasters, oil spills, tsunamis, you'd think the government would have a state-funded health service to help reduce medical costs for those who can't pay because all Bermudians must have access to affordable health care as it is a human right. A solution I, uh, a solution I made to re help reform the health care system in Bermuda uh, would be to promote physical activity to the upcoming generation, educating on the healthy lifestyles to avoid bad decisions, and also begin a state-funded um, health care for those who suffer from chronic conditions. And children, I believe that there should be universal health care in Bermuda as well. Unique characteristics about the Bermuda. As everyone knows, knows in the world, there's something called the Bermuda Triangle. North Atlantic Ocean, and that's part of the section, in that section, there's been stories about many ships and airplanes flying out there in the Bermuda Triangle and disappearing without a trace. No, they try to look for uh, any, um, look for right with radar or any signals and there is no, there have been no signals nor any um, traces of any shipwreck or airplane, airplane um, um, crashes near the ocean. Another unique characteristic is Bermuda has these pink beaches. So what, caught, what, what makes these beach, beaches pink? There's a, a single cell red organism called um, for, Formanifera, and they grow beneath um, coral reefs. When, they, when these single cell organisms die, they fall into the ocean floor and they get mixed with the bits of coral reefs and crushed shells. And then, and then the sand turns pink when the mixture washes onto the beach. Next slide. Bermuda's import and export. According, according to this article I, I, I was reading in 2018, Bermuda was um, known for um, exporting about 
41.9% petroleum gas and 38.3% recreational boats to places like Netherlands and Pakistan. And when, when it comes to importing, what they get, they get from, from United States and South Korea, they get about passages, 27.6% passenger and car, cargo ships they need to um, crown, keep on trading with other countries. And that brings us to the end. Thank you so much for your time and attention.